Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to paint sterling pearls. It's been a while and I think there's a lot of question around ratio when painting or airbrushing with dust. So I'm gonna show you what works for me and you can let me know if you have any questions below in the comments after this video. So what I love to do with sterling pearls is use Everclear, first of all, especially if I'm painting cookies. The Everclear evaporates almost immediately, so there is no concern with it changing the texture of my icing like there would be with vodka because vodka has water content and that can change the texture of your icing as opposed to Everclear, which evaporates immediately and absorbs instantly. I like to start with a very liquidy consistency, so I used a very tiny amount of hydrangea powder to four to five drops of Everclear, and this is the consistency I've come up with. It's not too thin where it's like falling off the paintbrush, but it's thin enough that it will paint smoothly on the royal icing. So as you can see, it's a little bit translucent for me. I prefer that because I like to build when I'm dealing with sterling pearls. You can always go back and add a second coat so you have more of an opaque finish and that beautiful reflective mica comes through when it's fully dry. So this is what you have for the first coat. And I'm gonna go back in with the second coat in just a little bit after I get the first coats of lilac and copper down as well. So I have the consistencies the way I want them. Not too thick, not too thin. Just play with your consistency. Everyone is different. What works for me may not work for you. First layer of lilac. Really beautiful, but I'm gonna go back in with a second and final coat. And let's do copper. Copper is incredibly beautiful. And I'm so glad Ed brought this color back. You guys are gonna love it. So let's look at copper, the first coat. How gorgeous. Okay, here are the first coats completely dried. And Ed has a really good tip for you all as well. So when you do your second coat or your first coat, the best way to get a good even consistency, your brush will tell you. All you do is when you create your paint, you load up the color onto your brush and watch as Holly takes that brush and wicks off the excess alcohol. What will happen is if there's too much alcohol, it'll pull naturally out, leaving the pearl basically on the actual bristles. So the bristles will only keep as much of the color as they can possibly hold and carry. So since I added more Everclear here, what he's talking about is taking your brush and getting all that excess off. You want the excess Everclear off where you're just mainly leaving pigment. Now you need a little moisture on your brush to paint, but you see how it was very heavy liquid here and less down here. So then we're gonna go in with our second coat on hydrangea and just lightly brush it on top. Look how beautiful that is. Very smooth because we got the consistency right on. We'll let that dry and then go in with lilac, do the same thing. Again, you only need a couple drops to rehydrate the dust inside your palette. You don't need much. You don't need much color. You don't need much Everclear. Then we'll wick it off like Edward recommended. Look how beautiful that is. Paints so nice. Okay, we'll let that dry and we'll do copper. Just need maybe one drop. Okay, we'll take two. Always make sure that you're mixing that powder around really well, breaking those crystals up and making it your very own 
sterling paint. This concept applies to any sterling pearl in our line. They will all paint the same way, two coats of each color. Aren't those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pearls? Beautiful. And now we're going to show you how to airbrush these same sterling pearls using Everclear.